Hello. So I haven't made a video in a while, and I thought it's sort of appropriate for the circumstances as I received some bad news two days ago on Tuesday. When I went to see my specialist, I see him every three months to find out how my cancer levels are. I was a little excited because three months ago, my IgG cancer levels were at 35.7. They'd actually gone down, and I'd hoped that the same thing had happened. However, that is not what happened. My IgG has actually gone up significantly to 46.8, and that is pretty bad. So this means that what's going to happen, well, it brings a lot of things into effect. One, my blood tests now go monthly. I have another blood test in October. If that blood test shows a similar result where my cancer levels have spiked then or increased a certain amount, I'll have to go back on cancer treatment. For those that know, this would be my fourth cancer treatment, and that's not really good. Uh, just a little quick background, 2006, I was diagnosed with multiple myeloma. Uh, since that time, it was during, uh, I'm also a UBC student, so it was the time during my master's. I received uh, chemo treatment of my own blood cells. I had all sorts of tests and everything for 2006, 2007, and then uh, 2000, so my levels went down a bit, but they didn't, didn't go away, and that's when I learned that my cancer can't go away. At best, it can just be kept at low levels. The cancer increased again uh, to high levels. I think my IG was around 19 uh, in the in the summer of 2000, 2009, and then in August 2009, I went on to Revlimid and Dexamethasone. I stayed on that until December 2000, 2010, when the Revlimid started to have adverse effects on my body. It led to increased pressure on my optical lobe. I was having memory issues, seeing problems that resulted in a stroke to my stroke and also I contracted TTP. TTP is this rare uh, disorder that uh, where my blood doesn't coagulate. So my my blood plate levels, normals may 130 to 200 or something. My blood, my blood platelet levels were four, which is really bad. Uh, so because of these adverse effects to Revlimid, I was taken off Revlimid. I spent 12 days in the hospital recovering from TTP. And since December 2010 until, until now, my cancer levels have been stable or slowly rising since that time. And it's only the last three months that they've had a significant, really, really bad spike. So that means that leaves options options that range from bad to really bad. So since this is my fourth time, it means that all the other cancer options cannot cannot be done. So that also means that um, I can't go back on Revlimid because Revlimid caused TTP, caused a stroke. I can't go back on to, the, uh, to um, getting chemo again because I already did that. So the next option is gonna be some sort of chemo drug where I'm going to take it for a certain period of time, it's going to be intravenous, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully that will keep my levels low for the foreseeable future while I'm on it, and hopefully I won't have any adverse effects um, from, from this, new, this new drug. So that's where things stand. October, I will uh, find out for sure whether it's um, a go or whether, whether I've... Uh, my levels have stayed the same, so I need to for so that um, it would forego for another month. Um, I'm still doing my PhD here at UBC. I'm going to stay in school. I am going to do if I do have to go back on to treatment. This time I'll do things differently. For those that know previously, actually, a lot of people haven't seen me on cancer treatment at all. <laughs> So it's, it's quite different. I don't look nearly like this. It's dexamethasone will blow up my face, add 40 pounds to my body, and it has a quite different effect. I'm always hungry. All sorts of uh, 
adverse effects like that. Um, but what I'm going to do this time is document it a lot more, as in previous but not at all. This time I'm going to document like crazy. I'm going to uh, make all sorts of videos as much as possible, taking lots of photographs, as I find photography really helps keeps me positive and, and happy and I use it as an outlet. That's what sort of I got out of the Sleep Better program, sort of stay to stay happy because being on these cancer drugs and knowing even when I'm off the drugs, having cancer is not it's not all rainbows and and, uh, and unicorns. And so I'm going to use as many sort of social media outlets to sort of let people know from an education standpoint what it's like being on being on these uh, this fourth drug, what sort of adverse effects, how I'm feeling, and just generally educating people. So that's where we are right now. Um, I'm staying positive, not giving up uh, hope, and whatever happens, I'm going to be 100% pushing to uh, to stay as, uh, as happy as possible. All right, thanks very much, and uh, I'll be talking to everyone soon.